Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we're going to study aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is something that applies to rectangles, and it is simply the ratio of the rectangle's width to height, or you could think of it as length to height, whichever way. But if you have a rectangle like here, it is always this side length to this side length, the ratio of this length to this length, okay? So what is the aspect ratio of this rectangle? If you can see, I have divided this into little parts, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parts this way. Eight. Nine parts for the, for the width, and then one, two, three, four parts for the height. So the aspect ratio is simply nine to four. Now over here, we are given the two dimensions, so I'll just take this to this as my ratio, okay? So it is 30 centimeters to 75 centimeters. Now, I can simplify here. Let me first write it using the fraction line. I'm writing the ratio, the same ratio using the fraction line, and here I can simplify the centimeters, they cancel out. And then 30 and 75 are both divisible by 15, actually. So I'll divide both of them by 15 and I'll get 2 here, and then here 5. So the aspect ratio is 2 to 5, which you can also write using the column 2 to 5. Here, the aspect ratio of a rectangle is 5 to 2, just the opposite way from here. It's turned. And its perimeter is this much, 70 centimeters. And find its width and height, find the two dimensions. It always helps to draw or sketch a little rectangle here, so let me do that. 5 and 2. Something like that. Now, let me mark here as if 5 units here and 2 units here. Like that, 2 units here and then 5 units here. So that gives me the aspect ratio now, 5 to 2. And it says that its perimeter is 70 centimeters. All the way around here is 70 centimeters. Okay? So let me continue and put these units, so to speak, all the way around the rectangle. And how many of those units do we have here? There's five units, two, five, and two. So that's a total of seven and seven, 14 units, okay? So if 70 centimeters equals 14 units, how much is one unit? Let me write here like an equation. I have these 14 units. And that is 70 centimeters. All I need to know now is how much is one of these units. 14 units. It's like an equation. Let's call units with the variable u. 14u equals 70 centimeters. In here I will just divide, okay, divide both sides by 14. I'm denoting here, it's like my marginal note, that I'm going to divide both sides by 14. So we get u equals 70 over 14, which is 5. 5 centimeters. Okay. Each unit here, each of these is 5 centimeters. So then the width is 5 times 5 centimeters, and the height is 2 times 5 centimeters, or so 10 centimeters. So now let's just check real quick. 25 plus 10 is 35 centimeters, and another 35. Yes, that is 70 centimeters for the perimeter. Here's an interesting problem. It's asking, what is the aspect ratio of that rectangle, okay? This is a rectangle. We are asked its aspect ratio. It consists of three squares put together side by side. And what is the width and the height? And this here, 64 square centimeters, is obviously the area of one of those squares. Okay. Now, anytime you have a problem that you are baffled about, if you're confused about this, you don't know how to start, you, don't, you have no clue how to find the height or width or whatever, then just start figuring out what can you solve using this information, 64 square centimeters. If you can't solve these, then find something else you can solve. Then maybe when you, once you solve that, then that will help you figure out these too. So if we know that the area of a square is 64 square centimeters, what can we solve from that? We can solve how much is the side of the square, right? 
So if this number times this number is the same number, multiplied is 64. What number by itself is 64? Well, it is 8, right? So this would be 8 centimeters here. And then this side too is here. So now we know that this rectangle here is 8 centimeters by 24 centimeters. Its height is 8, its width is 24. See? It wasn't difficult. What is the aspect ratio? Okay. I just look at this and this. So I could think that the aspect ratio will be 24 to 8. But I can also just look at the picture, you know, think of this as my unit. And there's three units this way and one that way. So the aspect ratio is just 3 to 1. The aspect ratio of a computer screen is 16 to 9. And calculate its height and its area. If its length is 40 centimeters, let me again make a sketch of a rectangle here. Okay, and this is now 16 to 9. So it means I would have 16 as if 16 units going this way and 9 little units going that way. 16 I can draw pretty easily. I'll divide this in half first, and then into fourths, and then into eighths, and then into 16. There we go. And then nine parts over here. 16 to 9. And its length is 40 centimeters. Let me mark that there too. This here is 40 centimeters. And we are asked its height and the area. Now, to calculate the area, I need to know the height of this side. And to find the height. If I can find out how much is one of those little units, then I go there times 9 to find the height. So I need to find out how much is one of these little units here. There's 16 of them. Notice that 16 of these units is equal to 40 centimeters. Again, we get here a simple equation, okay? I'll show you two ways to solve this. First way is if you don't really know much about equations, you can think of it, okay, I'll have this. I, I take half of both sides. 8 units is 20 centimeters. And then 4 units, half of it again is 10, and then 2 units is 5 centimeters, and then take half of that and you get 1 unit is 2.5 centimeters. Right? Isn't this pretty easy? And the other way is to use an equation. 16 units, I'll write it as 16u equals 40. In this equation, it's a multiplication equation, I need to divide both sides by 16. So then it leaves u alone on this side and we get 40 divided by 16. Now that, if you think of it as a fraction, it simplifies. Both of those are divisible by 4 or by 8 even. So I simplify it by 8, I get 5 here and 2, 5 over 2, which is 2 and a half. Okay. Okay. So either way, one unit is 2 and a half. And so now I go here, 9 times 2 and a half. 9 times 2 and a half. 10 times 2 and a half would be 25. So it's just 2 and a half less than that. 25 minus 2 and a half. So it is 22 and a half. And that's 9 centimeters, okay? Then the area. One more thing is the area. Okay, 40. This is 40 centimeters and this is 22 and a half. So the area is just you multiply those two. Let me see if I can find more space. For a little multiplication here. 22 and a half times 40. Zero, this just gives me a zero, so I can basically go directly to multiplying by four here. Four times five is 20. Then there's eight plus two is 10. And then there's eight plus one is nine. And there's one decimal digit here, so I need to put the one decimal digit here too. So the area is exactly 900. Square centimeter. There. Okay, I hope this was helpful.